What's up everybody? Frederick, Maryland is a great option for people to live in who work in Washington, D.C. and Baltimore, and it's got much better home values than its neighbors Howard County and Montgomery County. So today, we're gonna to go through my top pros and cons of living in Frederick, Maryland. So let's dive right in. Frederick is a town in Maryland with a population of approximately 72,000 people. It's located in Frederick County and is seen as one of the best places to live in the state of Maryland by niche.com. They give it an A rating and actually rank Frederick County the third best county to live in in the entire state of Maryland, only third to Howard County and Montgomery County. So let's get right to the pros and cons. So my first pro about living in Frederick, Maryland is that it is super charming. Downtown Frederick is absolutely beautiful with over 200 specialty shops, art galleries, breweries, distilleries, and restaurants. It's just got that quaint small town feel and there are picturesque scenes everywhere you look. You've got Carroll Creek Park, which spans more than a mile throughout the hip and historic downtown Frederick. Carroll Creek is a 40 foot wide, 1.3 mile channel waterway with brick pedestrian paths, water features, pedestrian bridges, landscaping, fountains, live music, and a 350 seat amphitheater that has restored vitality to the historic commercial district and continues to be a catalyst for economic growth. They also have lots of events in Frederick. The whole family will be cheering on the Frederick Keys as they take on different baseball teams from all over the coast. Beer drinkers and history fans will love celebrating Oktoberfest during one of Frederick's two major German heritage events. One of my favorite events is Fire and Ice, which will return to Frederick on February 4th of 2023. During this first Saturday event, downtown Frederick is transformed with hundreds of ice sculptures and lots of winter themed family fun. Or if you're into craft beer, fine wine, and unique spirits, Frederick has more than 35 tasting rooms within a 20 mile radius. Each and every venue has its own unique and special qualities, so my advice is to check them all out. Fun fact, Linganore Wine Cellars is the oldest family-owned winery in the state of Maryland. They also have various art exhibits and live music throughout the year. I'll put a link below to the whole event calendar so you can definitely check it out. My next pro about living in Frederick, Maryland is that you just get way more bang for your buck when it comes to buying real estate than its neighbors, Howard County and Montgomery County. I'll do a search right now, November of 2022, for a single family home for less than $500,000. Okay, look, I've gotten 15 results, 15 choices of homes to choose from. It would be very hard for me to find a home for less than $500,000 in Montgomery County or Howard County that was in decent shape and wasn't a complete teardown. So I have to say, this is probably the main reason why people are choosing to live in Frederick over these other places. And I personally have had a lot of clients pick Frederick because your money just goes farther when it comes to real estate. Moving on to pro number three, which is the location. Frederick is located 45 minutes from Washington, D.C and 45 minutes from Baltimore. So it is a great location if you have two people in a household, one working in each place. You are also very close to mountains with 28 named mountains in Frederick County. Catoctin Mountain is the highest point and Sugarloaf Mountain is probably the most prominent. There are so many great hikes in both mountains. You're also about three hours from the Atlantic Ocean and the beaches of Ocean City, Maryland, and about 90 minutes from the Chesapeake Bay. And speaking of location, if you need to travel a lot, you have three major airports to choose from, all within an hour of Frederick. You've got Dulles International Airport, Reagan National Airport, and BWI, the Baltimore Washington International Airport. So really convenient for traveling. My next pro is that if you are a history buff, you will love Frederick. 
As a gateway to Western Maryland, Frederick is known for its Civil War sites and impressive 40-block historic district. Established in 1745 by England and Germany, you can take a walking tour all throughout Frederick's historic district. Fun fact, Frederick is where Francis Scott Key once lived, worshipped, and practiced law in the early 1800s. You can actually visit the final resting place of the man who wrote the Star Spangled Banner. I could go on and on about Frederick, but I'll do one more pro and then we'll get to some of the cons. So the next one has got to be about the parks and rec. Frederick is home to over 72 parks, which encompass more than 610 acres. You also have two state parks. At Wooded Cunningham Falls State Park are boat launches and rentals, canoeing and swimming. Gambrel State Park offers mountain bikes and horse paths. Both have hiking, fishing, campsites, and picnic areas. One of my favorite parks is Baker Park in downtown Frederick. Baker Park is home to a lake, public swimming pool, tennis courts, athletic fields, pavilions, picnic areas, and several playgrounds. This popular 58-acre green space also serves as a venue for summer concerts, children's theater, sports, festivals, and other outdoor events. And don't forget the Appalachian Trail. The Appalachian Trail winds through Maryland for 41 miles, and the first stretch from the south travels through the southwestern part of Frederick County. Another fun fact is that Camp David is located in Frederick County, which has served every president since Franklin D. Roosevelt. All right, now let's get to some of the cons of living in Frederick because there are a few. I would say the first one has to be the commute. Although Frederick is a great option for people working in DC and Baltimore and does have more affordable housing than its neighbors, Montgomery County and Howard County, your commute will be long. It'll take you about an hour to drive into DC from Frederick and about an hour and 40 minutes if you take the Mark train. Baltimore, it'll take you about an hour to drive there as well. And Route 15 is always congested because it's only a two lane highway. There is talk of widening it, so maybe that will happen sometime soon. But this does take me right into my second con, which is traffic. Traffic's pretty bad everywhere in Maryland, but it's especially bad in Frederick and if you're trying to go in and out because of that two lane highway of Route 15. So just be prepared that there's just going to be a lot of traffic. My next con about living in Frederick has to do with parking. There are meters in downtown Frederick and a few garages, but I promise you every time I'm there, it is just really difficult to park. So once again, just leave time to find a parking space when you're living in or visiting Frederick. My next con has to do with city taxes. Some homes in Frederick will pay an extra Frederick city tax. I don't really understand the rhyme or reason to it because it's not every home. But just be aware that some homes in Frederick do have to pay an additional tax. So just ask your realtor if you're looking to buy in Frederick if this house is one of them. It's not that much more money, but it is an additional fee that you do have to pay. So I just want you to be aware of it. And finally, my last con, and this really has to do with the whole state of Maryland. So if you watch my videos, you probably know what I'm going to say. And that has to do with the weather. Here in Maryland, we get all four seasons, which is great. I love the fall, I love the spring, and the winters aren't too bad. But the summers here, they're not great. They get really hot and really humid and it can feel about 107 certain days. So just know that if you're moving to Frederick, Maryland, or Maryland as a whole, that the summers for the months of July and August, they're just not great. They're just, they're just there's no other way to say it. They're, they're just not great. And add to that, our spring allergies are pretty bad. So if you do have allergies, just kind of know going in that there are a couple months in the spring going into the summer where allergies can be pretty bad. That about wraps up my pros and cons for living in Frederick. I love Frederick. It's super cute and like I said, a great option with more affordable housing. And if you are thinking about moving to Frederick, or anywhere in Maryland, or DC, or Northern Virginia, and you would like our help, 
Just send us an email, we'll set up a Zoom, and we'll get you started. Or you can click on the calendar link below and it will set up an appointment directly with us. I hope you got some value out of today's video. If you did, definitely smash that like button and consider subscribing to our channel so you don't miss any future videos. Thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. Bye.